Good morning. Good morning all. How are we? Great. I'm actually in early for once. And um, just uh, for those of you that had to sort of uh, miss classes and send you a few links this week, I'm really sorry. But like Lazarus, I've arisen from my pit, ready for a wonderful exercise session with you. So things you're going to need for this session. Um, I've got a couple of tins of beans. I've got the chair, but actually it's it's apart from, I'm just checking, yeah, a couple of upright rows, not a huge amount of equipment at all. So, ooh, the sunlight shining through that window. So I hope you can see me okay. And, uh, and I hope you're feeling well. So I don't know about you, but I've been watching... Um, Joe Wicks, and I've been listening to what he's been doing, raising an amazing amount of money for children in need. So I'm feeling really inspired, and I hope you are too. So without much further ado, let's have a think about you. So how are you feeling? Are you feeling well? Um, feeling okay? A bit stiff, maybe? I'm feeling really stiff. So I've spent a lot of time lying down the last couple of days. So I'm really looking forward to just getting these joints moving, getting these muscles warm. If you're feeling out of sorts, as in not very well, bit of a fever, think about maybe just having a cup of tea instead and doing this at a later time when you feel well. But if you're good, if you're raring to go and you've got your water, you've got your tins, you've got your chair, just in case you decide to sit down to do your exercise session, I'm going to show you what that should look like. So if we are sitting down, try and lift that chest, make sure that back's not resting against the chair, that you feel comfortable and safe. And we could do everything that you need to do seated. If you're going to be standing, let's just take those feet hip width apart. Let's stand nice and tall. And let's just start with a little shoulder squeeze up. And then let's just allow those shoulders to relax down. So we're going to gently draw the shoulders up. We're going to allow those shoulders to relax down. And then we're going to do one more of these squeezes of the shoulders up. And we're just going to relax those shoulders down. Now breathe out. Let's think about just taking that lower back warm up. So we're going to stand nice and tall. We're going to lift that rib cage out of the hips. We're going to lengthen through the spine. So we're going to do a really good warm up today because not only am I feeling a little bit stiff, <laughs> it's Friday the 13th. So let's not play into the hands of it. Let's just make sure we take it nice and easy. All right. Don't give it a chance to do anything dodgy. So if anything feels maybe not quite right, maybe a little bit wrong, <laughs> Just tone it down a little bit, okay? So that's my advice for a Friday the 13th. We're going to come all the way up and we're just going to gently move those feet. Now have a little think about this long back. Open out that chest, relax the shoulders down, and then we're going to draw some circles with these shoulders up to the ears and back down. Good morning if you've just joined us. I'm on time for once. So uh, I'm sorry, we've only just started the warm up. We're just drawing those shoulders up to the ears and back down. And we're going to do one more of those. And then let's just steady those feet again. Let's steady those feet again. Let's soften the knees a little bit. Your heels are down. And rather than doing that, we just want to sit down into those heels a little bit. It's just a tiny little softening of those knees. We're going to just cross these arms, cross these forearms. Now, before we do anything, I want you to roll those shoulders up and back. Slide the shoulder blades down. Now, those shoulders are really relaxed. Then we're going to take that little movement one way and the other. Okay, so we're taking this gentle twist. Oh, look, sun shining on me. Is that good luck? It better be. That's all I can say. Hmm. I could do with a bit of luck this weekend. Brilliant. So we're going to take one more. I decide. Good work, guys. Okay, bring it back to centre. Just let those arms swing a little bit. 
I realized I put the worst outfit on. It's all black. So I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. If not, apologies, apologies. So just let those arms swing a little bit. It's almost as if you're just letting them flop. We're just gonna gently toe tap. So we're just pushing that big toe down towards the floor. So two things really, we're getting a little bit of movement. There's a little bit of movement through that knee joint, but we're also starting to warm those ankles up and we're really letting those shoulders relax, get any tension out of those shoulders. Now let's see if we can just keep those arms nice and steady and we're gonna take the heel to that spot on the floor in front of you. So this is really nice. We're just warming up those ankles, but we're getting a little bit of calf movement. Again, can you see the knee joint is just gently bending. So it's a really nice movement to warm us up. Good, and then we're gonna bring it in. Now, let's see if we can take the heel to a spot on the carpet. I'm gonna turn this way. You might need to hold onto the wall, heel and toe, okay? So while we're doing this, it's a really good idea to have something that can support you on the bits that maybe need a little bit more balance, if your balance isn't quite as good as you'd like it to be. Um, I certainly find my balance isn't as good as it should, could, not should, could. So I do like to have something there and then just gradually work on it, gradually withdraw the support as I get better. Now, let's bring it back down. Let's see if we can march it out. A little bit brisker, a little bit breathless. I might have to tone it down a little bit today because my chest, doing that and the last thing you want is me breathing at you through the screen. So what we're gonna do next is just roll these shoulders up and back. Roll these shoulders up to the ears and back down. We're gonna take one more of these little rolls and then we're gonna see if we can just gradually increase those shoulder movements by drawing some circles with these elbows. Now, if you can, keep those feet moving, but don't worry if you can't, just wiggle the toes a little bit. And then we're gonna relax these arms down. Let's tap out to the side, bring this foot back in. Tap and in, okay? I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, but just remember we're warming up. So we don't wanna overdo it on the speed, but at the same time, if it's so slow that you can't keep your balance, then it's no good. All right then, now we're gonna see if we can bring the feet in, take those little taps behind us. I'm gonna take a little squeeze of these bottom muscles. This chest is lifted and we're just squeezing behind us, good. And we're gonna see if we can just take a little bicep curl as we do this, squeeze. And one more, now bring it in. Let's see if we can take a slightly bigger step, good. Slightly bigger step, we're opening up those hips. Hips are facing forwards, good. Ideally, you're looking forwards. I keep slightly looking over my shoulder at you. And then we can have that bicep curl again. Now, see if we can bring that foot to that position, gently press the heel down, bring it up and in. Same on the other leg, so back. Gently press it towards the floor and in. Good, so it's very, very controlled. Use that wall if you need it. We're gonna do three of these on each leg. Press that heel down towards the floor. Doesn't have to get there, but you'll notice we're lengthening those calf muscles a little bit more. Good work. All right, bring it in. Let's take those little pedals, okay? Those little pedals, one heel at a time. So I heard someone call it the jogger's walk somewhere, and I can't remember where it was, but it's a, it's a good analogy, I think, the jogger's walk. All right, three, two, one, bring it back in. Let's just walk it out, and then we're gonna just think about this chest, these shoulders a little bit more. So just watching out for this space around you, we're just gonna see if we can just gently open out that chest a little bit, bring those arms down. So it's nothing too major. We're just gonna find your circle and gradually build it to your range. Okay, so find your range, don't push into pain. And then we're just gonna hold it there. We're gonna imagine you're drawing something in towards you like a big ball, bringing it in and then we're gonna open. So as you bring it in, just bend those knees slightly, keep those heels down. 
as you open up, straighten through those legs. And we're just gonna open, then we're gonna reach up, reach up, see if you can move those feet, breathe in and breathe out. Oh, just gave myself a nail file on the ceiling. We're gonna breathe in and we're gonna breathe out. Let's take one more, shall we? Breathe in and then we're gonna breathe out, lovely. Okay, we're gonna go back to those little taps out. Little taps out. Now, while we're doing this, you're going to just think about just warming the shoulders up a little bit. So we're not taking the arms too high. All right, keeping that chest lifted. And then we're going to bring the arms in and we're going to change the movement. We're going to take those arms forwards. I'll show you from this angle. Good. All about the shoulders here. We're going to do three and two and one. Okay, let's go back to that little pedal. We're going to bring those arms just below shoulder level and then we're going to take that little rowing action. Okay, see if you can do it with your palms upward turned, but it doesn't matter really where your palms are facing. They can be together, they can be facing the floor. Brilliant. Squeeze and then we're going to bring it back guys. Okay, just march it out. March it out a little bit. We're going to take the feet a little bit wider and then we're going to see if we can pick these heels off the floor. Good. Now, we can add that bicep curl if you like. Or we can just focus on keeping that really strong core. If the knees don't like this, just go back to those little taps behind. Same for our circuit. We're going to go four, three. Good. Draw these lower abdominals in and bring it down. Great stuff, everybody, great stuff. So we're gonna take a little roll of these shoulders, steady these feet for a moment, walk the hand over the shoulder, just see if you can reach over and then bring it down, let's march it out. Now, while we're walking, let's see if we can do the same on the other side. So walk that hand over the shoulder, just hold it there for a minute, and then we're going to release. Good. Shake those arms out. Let's see if we can, without any tension, without trying too hard, pat ourselves on the back. Twice more either side. Good. Pat yourself on the back and bring it down. Good. Give yourselves a pat and then bring it back down. Good. Take a little roll. Now, we're going to go back to those little heel digs. And then we're just going to leave one heel in front, just hinge at the hips, feel that little stretch, that lengthening down the back of the straight leg. We'll do the same on the other side. So feel that lengthening. Brilliant, guys. And then we're going to bring it back up. Now, we're going to practice our little squats. So I know some of you have had a bit of trouble with your knees. So what I am going to do is show you what to do on the chair if you need to. So those of you that feel comfortable and confident, we're gonna make sure that foot position is right. Back hip width apart. We're gonna glue those heels to the floor so that when you bend at the knees and the hips, those heels stay down. So we're just gonna drop the bottom behind the heels and then straighten. Tiny little squats. Okay, minuscules, if that makes sense. Brilliant. Now, just do a couple of those and then march it out. If you're worried about the squats, we're going to sit back in your chair. We're going to take these heels down. And what we're going to do is straighten those legs. So we're using these quadricep muscles to straighten the leg. So we're going to do about five on each leg. And you can do this throughout the session. Ah, oh, good morning, Sam. He's come to uh, scratch all over my studio, as I like to call it. So we're gonna do five each leg. If that's too simple again, let's march it out. If you wanna progress, what we can do is stand next to the wall, okay, take one foot off, and just do that little knee bend and straighten on one leg. Again, we need to make sure the knees are bending in line with that second toe, and that that heel stays firmly, glued to the floor, so push into that heel, little bend and a straighten. All right, bring it back, guys, bring it back. So 
We practice some squats. We practice the alternatives. Let's see if we can march it out. Let's take a punch forwards. Good. Okay. I can see some little messages fly. Ah, oh, good morning, Agnes. <laughs> How are you? How lovely to see you. Good morning, everyone. How lovely to see you, shouldn't I say? We're going to punch forwards and then we're going to punch down. Good. So we're going to punch up. We're going to punch forwards and we're going to punch down. Ready? Up, forwards and down. And then we're just going to relax these arms. Just let them swing a little bit. We're going to go from a toe tap to a little kick. Okay, it doesn't have to be a high kick. And then we're going to go to a knee lift. Brilliant. And then we're going to see if we can take that opposite hand, opposite knee. Okay, four, three, two, and one. And then we're just going to gently walk it out. Good. Take a lovely breath in, guys. Take a breath out. Good. And then take a little roll of those shoulders. All right. I think we're pretty much warmed up ready to go. I'm just uh, removing my trainers from in front of my list. I don't think there's anything we've got to practice apart from one little move, okay? It's a box set. Basically, I want you to imagine you're stood at the foot of a square, a square box. We're stood in the bottom two corners. You're going to step to the top corners and then you're going to step to the bottom corners. So it's called a box step. Two steps forwards, two steps back. So step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Step, step, back, back. Now, step, step, back, back. So you can add arms or you can leave the arms out. So step, step, back, back. Now, the clever bit is when you change legs. <laughs> step, step, back, back. But I'll make it as simple as I can. Okay, everybody, have a little bit of water. I'm going to hit the music. Let's do it. All right. She says it would help if I didn't turn the music off. Okay. Are we ready? Now, if you're having a little comfort break, that's fine. If you're having a war break, that's fine. I'm going to hit the stopwatch. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> it's, like, it's like a shambles with me today. I've got the stopwatch going now though. Okay, we're gonna start with a minute of knee lifts. Three, two, one, good. So, we don't have to bring this knee higher than hip level, you can have it lower, but what we do wanna think about is keeping this strong trunk, okay? We're not leaning back, we're not leaning forwards. We really want to make these core muscles strong. So this trunk is really independent. Okay, we're on fire. I can feel it. Let's add that little opposite knee tap. Good. Now, if you've not got much room, you can always just do whatever arms you like, or you can just make the arms smaller. Okay. You know a multitude of our movements. Okay, we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Okay, walk it out. Ready for those side taps. I'm just gonna move the chair out of the way. All right, let's tap. Good work, guys. Now, what about arms? I hear you say. I'm gonna give you a choice again. I'm going to slow it down because my breathing's going a little bit too fast. You find the pace that works for you. So, if that breathing gets out of control, we might need to slow it down. We might need to make the range a little bit smaller. We might need to leave the arms out. If you're thinking, hmm, I could do with working harder, you might choose to add some arms, either these, or some push and pull. You might decide to make the range a little bit bigger. 
faster. Okay, so you're the boss. Listen to that breathing. Remember, we want to work fairly hard, but we don't want to be out of control with that breathing. All right, are you ready? Walk it out. Bit of recovery, guys. Now, if you need to recover at any time, you stop and just keep your feet moving. Don't stop and leave this feet just doing nothing, otherwise you might feel a bit dizzy. All right, what's next? Side step. Should we go this way? Let's do it. Step together. Step together. A bit faster. Good. Now, I'm not going to follow the music because it's really, really fast. Now, if we're going to add some arms, let's wash those windows. Now, if we're washing the windows, you can have a little knee bend and push up. But make sure your knees are all right with that. You may need to temper it for yourself. Good. How are we doing? Ah, amazing. Every time we do this, the sun comes out loud and clear. So well done, guys. Good. Now, we've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's walk it out. Okay, walking into that squat position. So remember, you've got the seated version. You can do a little sit to stand or a hover, or we can do our squats. So are we ready? Heels glued to the floor, feet hit with the part, only going as far as you can control those knees and control that lower back. If you find yourself doing this, have a look at what I'm actually doing. I'm actually just doing my lower back. So this needs to be strong. We're dropping those hips, pushing into the heels, squeezing that bottom as you come up. Good, you should feel it in the thighs and in the bottom, not in that lower back. Good, so whatever you do with the hands is up to you. <laughs> I tend to like that class town position, or I like to do that to balance myself out, but it's up to you. Good. We're going to do five, four, brilliant, three, can you do two more? Have you got it? Don't worry if you can't, just walk it out and bring it up. Cook it on gas, my friends. Walk it out, bit of recovery, then we're going to go into that backward lunge. So it's more of a tap, because it's an aerobic lunge, and we can add those arms. Now, I can feel my breathing getting a little bit too fast, so I'm going to take the arms out, but you do whatever arms you like. You can do smaller arms with a bicep curl, you could just do that, but I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to let my chest relax. Good. So we're breathing out. Breathing in. And don't worry, you shouldn't have to think too hard about it. Good. Brilliant. So, how are we doing then? We've got another few seconds. Three, two, one, bring it in. Now, squeeze these heels towards the bottom. If this doesn't work for you, go back to those taps behind. I'm going to add a bicep curl. Now, you can hold these weights if you like for this, but in all honesty, we should be able to get the aerobic movement we want by just the moves rather than holding something heavy. Brilliant, guys. Super. Now, some of you have got a bit of space with the hamstring curl. You can actually move forwards a little bit. You can stay on the spot. You can move backwards. Okay, I better not kick the wall. Brilliant, guys. Keep up the good work. Now, three, two, one. We're walking out. Now, from the wall. We're going to take it into a little bit of a punch. Good. And again, you can use your light weights if you like, or you can just punch as you like. Now, we can either march and punch on the spot, or we can take those feet a little bit wider, make sure those knees are bending in line with that big toe, 
and we can punch forwards, we can punch across. Good, it's up to you. So we're either march on the spot, punch, you can punch faster, you can punch slower. Up to you guys. That's the joy of doing this to the movement. You can temper it to what suits you. Great work. Okay, we've got another 10 punches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can do this. Come on. 3, 2, 1. Walk it out. Brilliant, guys. Get that breath back. Now, we're going to find that space against the wall. We're going to do our press-ups against the wall. So elbows a little bit lower than the shoulders. Draw those shoulders away from the ears. Now let's not forget to breathe out. If you don't have a suitable bit of wall, you can always use a resistance band, okay? Or you can use your tins of beans or your light weights. Good. Push. Make sure you don't lean forwards like that though, okay? Because you might find it hurts your back. Good. That's good. Let's see if we got another two press ups. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more. Go for it. Brilliant work, guys. And just roll those shoulders up and back. Okay, let's go into those little kicks, shall we? So we're gonna take those little kicks forwards. If you wanna work a little bit harder, we're either gonna add that chest press arms or we're gonna reach forwards, opposite arm, opposite leg. Good. Doesn't have to be the can-can. Okay, you can go faster or you can slow it down. Focus on that nice long trunk. Beautiful, guys. Good. Really good for coordination. Great repetitive music. Movements. <laughs> Fantastic. We okay there? Good. I was saying to those of you that didn't hear, totally inspired by Joe Wicks doing his 24 hours of PE. So we're doing our hour. We're doing our bit. Brilliant. Okay, we've got three, two, one. Walk it out. Now, those of you that have been with me the last couple of sessions, you'll know this one. We're going to leave one foot on the floor. Heel is down. We're going to take a heel forward. Then we're going to take a little tap backwards with the ball of the foot. Heel and ball of the foot. So I'm using this wall for balance. Good. So we're going to do one leg for 30 seconds. We're going to do the other leg for 30 seconds. Good. So make sure the knee of this supporting leg is in line with that second toe and that heel is down. Brilliant. Okay. We're going to change legs. I'm going to face you for this one so you can see what I'm doing. This angle. Good. So it's small steps. Very good for balance. Beats. Balance. Great for leg strength. Brilliant. Okay. Good work, guys. Keep it up. Lovely. Okay, just another few. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Last two. And walk it out, guys. Brilliant. Okay, let's get our tins of beans. Remember, you don't have to use anything. You can just use body weight. We're going to just move the feet, lift the chest, draw the shoulder blades together and down, squeeze those elbows up to the ceiling. Breathing out. We're doing our upright rows. Breathing out. Good. I'll show you from this angle. Fantastic, guys. Looking straight ahead. Now, if you want to change the foot movement, this works really well. Good. Nice and controlled on the way back down. Brilliant, guys. So we're working the upper back muscles here. Those muscles that help us stand nice and tall. 
Give us good, strong upper backs. Fantastic. There's a little bit of work going on the shoulders and the biceps. Last couple. And relax. Good work. You feel that in the shoulders, guys. Okay. Straight into another bit of strength. Into that heel raise. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. A little bit quicker than normal. So we're looking straight ahead. Up, down. Good. You can bring some arm movement if you like. Good. Now we can slow it down to challenge balance, or you can just keep it faster to work on that muscular strength and endurance. Brilliant, guys. So think about what you want to work on. If you want to work on balance, slow it down. If you want to just work on calf strength, just keep it going. And we're going to do three, two, one, whoo, can feel the calves burning after that. Walk it out, guys. So, she says, I actually can't feel the pause. So what I'll do is just turn it down a bit. How are we doing? Have a bit of water, guys. Keep your feet moving. Keep your feet moving, but nice and easy. So what we're gonna do in the next section, instead of repeating all 12 for the same amount of time, we're gonna split it into 30 second segments. So we're gonna work in four exercises at a time. We're gonna do 30 seconds, move on to the next. And it'll be amazing how quickly this segment will go. So hold on to your hats. Are we ready for action? I do believe we're starting with some knee lifts. So remember, most important thing, how are you feeling? Is your breathing okay? Good. Are you feeling ready for the next bit? Because I am, let's do it. Okay, so 30 seconds knee lift, let's go. Good, now, if we wanna work a little bit harder, we can bring those arms in, we can do a row, we can do a push, whatever you like, but I really like the little bit of rotation this gives us through the waist. Good, good, now. Brilliant, guys. Keep it up. We're going to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Now, side taps. You ready? Tap, 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 tap. Good. That's fantastic, guys. Tap. All right. Good work. Keep it up. So from the side tap, we go into side steps. You can keep the same arms if you like. We're gonna go this way to start with if you're working together as a couple. Three, two, one. Are you ready? Let's step. Be faster, let's do it. You've got this, guys. So after the side steps, do you remember what comes next? Well, yes, you're right. It's squats. We love a bit of squats. So remember your alternatives, just in case you need them, the little knee bends and the straight and seated or standing. Okay, are we ready? Four, three, two, one. Okay, walk those feet into position. Let's go. Down and up, down and up. Keep that chest lifted, push up from the heels, squeeze that bottom at the top of the move. Good, control. So sometimes you need to slow it down to make sure there's control. Let's show you from this angle, look. Heels are down, chest lifted. Let's just check the clock. Three, two, one, last one. Walk it out. <sighs> Knee lift. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave the arms a bit smaller on this bit. Brilliant, guys. Keep it up. 30 seconds of this, then back into the side taps. Good, whoo. Now, five, four, three, two, 
One, walk it out, tap. You've got it. Let's change the arms on this one. <laughs> I've got it wrong. Okay, never mind. Just do whatever arms feels good. But I'm actually doing that little pet deck movement. Good. Shoulders relaxed. Elbows nice and relaxed to opening that chest, drawing the shoulder blades together and relax. Ready for the side steps. This way, let's go. Let's add some arms. Remember if there's two of you, you might need to do the chest for us. Good. Up to you what arms you use and you may decide no arms. Now, five seconds, we're going to move into that 30 seconds of squat or the alternative you'd like to use. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Walk those feet into position. Let's go. Squeeze. Now, this time we're going to go slowly down. Power up without locking out the knees. Slowly down. Power. Slowly down. Power. Make sure those knees aren't pushing together or pushing apart. Make sure they stay in that hinge position. Last one. Let's see if we can hold it there for three, two, one. Bring it up. Walk it out, guys. Segment one. Tick. Good work. Now, segment two. Remember this one. Backward tap. Backward lunge. Let's do it. 30 seconds, guys. We're off. So I'm going to take my arms out. Just going to keep control of my breathing. It's coming faster, but I need to be able to talk. And so, my friends, do you. Good. 10 seconds to go. So what's after this? Those knee bends, those little hamstring curls or the heel raises. Stay doing that if they don't suit you. Ready. Walk those feet hip width apart. Good. That's it. So let's have that bicep curl. Good. Now, stay with the singles. But in the next round, you might try a little double. Okay, but only if you feel like it. Good. Ten seconds to go again, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Punch. Punch it out. So we're gonna march and punch. Yeah, let's march and punch. Let's just really focus on pushing those wrists forwards. Not overreaching, lots of jabs. Let's see if we can do a little. If anyone studied boxing, this is rubbish boxing, okay? <laughs> Although I did do a boxercise course. Okay, let's punch where you like. Three, two, one. Let's take it to the wall. Press ups. 30 seconds. Let's do it. So 30 seconds. I reckon we'll get about six to eight quality press ups. Don't forget to breathe out, my friends. Don't forget to breathe out. And come away from the wall. Walk it out. You ready for those taps behind? Tap. Tap. Now we can add the forward raise. We can add a bicep curl. Okay, we can do no arms at all. Nice relaxed shoulders. Just let those arms swing. Up to you guys. Good. Just a few more of these. Three. Two, one, walk it out. And feet a little bit wider than hip width apart or just hip width apart. Hamstring curl. Good. Squeeze. And nice strong trunk. Nice strong core muscles here. So try not to arch that back as we kick these heels behind us. Think of it more as a squeeze.
squeeze. We're using those hamstring muscles. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out, back into those punch. Now, if you prefer our little punch across, be my guest. Or we can punch while we walk. Good. Good. Nice. Work within your range, guys. Brilliant. What I do like about this is there's a little bit of rotation. So those golfers, those gardeners, this is great at keeping those core muscles strong but mobile. So you might need to tone it down if you've not done this sort of movement for a while. Good. Okay. And three, two, one bit longer than 30 seconds, I know. Sorry. All right, press ups. Let's go. All right. Now, remember, your hands don't need to be this high. We want them low enough that that nose can come over the top. So this is the sort of motion you want to be in when you're against the wall. Tummy button drawn towards the spine, and then we're just pushing. This is what it should look like. I'm doing it without the wall. Good. Let's see if we can do three more. Two. One. Okay, come away from the wall. Let's kick it out. Good. Now, I'm going to go a little bit faster because we've got 30 seconds. We can afford to work a little bit harder on the aerobic section because we know it's only 30 seconds. Brilliant. It's too much though. You know what to do. Slow it down. You're in charge. Good. Now, we're going to go from that into our upright row. So, with or without Tim's, we're going to squeeze and squeeze. And again, like the press ups, probably eight, maybe six. Depends how fast you do it. Just control the movement of those arms there. Squeeze and down. So, keep that nice open chest. As we raise the elbows, draw these shoulder blades together. Good. Really bring something to the party. Last one. Bring it down. Now, you may need that wall for support because we're going to go forwards and tap back. So, tap forward to the heel, back. So, make it nice and small to start off with. Only as you get more confident might you want to take those movements slightly bigger. And I do say slightly. Good. Forwards, back. Just a couple more, and then remember which leg you're using, because we're going to use the other one in the next round. Okay, walk it out, heel raise, guys. Up and down. Good. Now, remember about that. <laughs> so, we really want those heels to leave the floor. Good. Imagine you're like a puppet with a piece of string at the top of your head, and I'm just picking you up a little bit. And your balls of your feet are remaining in contact with the floor. We're looking straight ahead. Good. Up and down. Up and down. We're going to go three, two, last one, and kick, kick. Good. Last round. We've got two minutes to go. Four exercises, guys. Good. Are you with me? Yes. Brilliant. Okay, I don't remember what's coming next. It's upright rows. You've got 10 seconds of kicks. Kick, kick, good. All right, kick your way to your tins if you're using them. If you're not, let's walk the feet out and squeeze. Good. Brilliant. Draw those shoulder blades together. Remember, as they come, draw these together. Lovely. So this is a fabulous exercise. Work in the trapezius muscles. Brilliant. Biceps. A little bit of deltoid, not too much. Good. And bring it down now. You've got your support. Which leg did we use last time? I think I used that one. So we're going to heel, step forwards and back. So you might find this really challenging. And it is. Good. 
So it's all about that ability to use one leg to support you and shift the weight, shift that other foot. Good. So if you were out and about, something happened, you'd be able to right yourself. You'd be able to right yourself. So this is what it's all about. And a lot of leg strength going on there. Walk it out. Okay. Let's just take a couple of punches. You are amazing. Now, back to that heel raise. Are you ready? We're going to go up and down. 30 seconds, that's it. Up and down. Up. Now. <laughs> I forgot the heel raises. Remember this one, guys. Y M C A. Okay, we'll do it after the heel raises. Keep heel raising. Good. We've got 10 seconds to go. All right. We'll finish with a bit of Y M C A. Okay. Heels down. Walk it out. Now, the Y is like that. The M like that. The C A. We'll have to wait now, so keep marching it out. We're going to do this together, I'm determined, okay? Keep marching. It's like being at the disco when you're a bit younger. You're like, I know this dance, just wait. Okay, so we're going to walk forwards on the spot. We're going to walk backwards. I'm determined we're going to do this all together. Okay, you ready? I think it's coming. Ready, let's do it. Y M C A. You can sing along if you like. Y M C A. All right, that's enough for you, isn't it? I'll turn it down. I'll turn it off. Thanks for bearing with me. All right, everybody. Great session. So we even managed a bit of village people towards the end. Just keep those feet moving. Roll those shoulders up to the ears. Shake those arms out and give yourself a little handshake on a job well done. So have a bit of water if you need it. Keep your feet moving. You might need to nip to the toilets, that's fine. But just try and make sure we're sort of just gently keeping those calf muscles, pumping the blood back up to the head and the heart. So I'm just going to get you to circle these wrists while we're moving those feet a little bit. Allowing that breath to push out. Really focus on pushing that breath out. Really interesting um, how just not breathing out properly can sometimes lead to becoming almost more breathless as we build up that carbon dioxide. You'll notice it swimming, if, if any of you are swimmers, if you hold your breath, you become really breathless. So it's all about that, pushing that breath out. So what we'll do is we're just going to push one arm forwards, breathe out, breathe in as that arm comes in, breathe out, breathing out, and then we'll go into our little pedal, go into that little pedal, just relax the shoulders, nice long back. And then we'll bring those heels down. And we're just gonna take some steps to the side, just at your pace, nice and small. When I say at your pace, at a pace that you'll allow that heart rate to just start to come back to its resting level. It's unusual for it to get back to its resting level, sort of within this cool down, but it should still be, you know, no more than sort of 10, 20 beats higher than your normal rate. And then as the adrenaline subsides, it'll come back down. Sounds a bit sort of like, adrenaline? What's she talking about? This isn't exciting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take those nice taps behind us now. And again, just relaxing that breathing, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the chest. And we did there about 30 minutes of activities that included aerobic and less so on these Tuesday and Friday circuits, a bit of strength. So if you really want to work on building strength, we've sort of got a couple of options to you really. 
Um, we had some DVDs with a uh, little strength routine using resistance band. We can write you a program that you can do in your own time. You just stay in touch with how it's going. Or you could come and join us for our functional strength on a Thursday. So as long as I don't shy off and call in sick. So apologies to those of you who I did that to yesterday. So let's just take this tap out and in. Good. And then we're just gonna come back to that little pedal, really gentle. We're just gonna see if we can, as if you were almost, oh, woe is me. Just a nice little, as if you were brushing your long mane of hair. <laughs> I know, we haven't all got a long mane of hair at all. Well, actually I have now. I keep forgetting when I see it swinging around behind me. I keep, all I can think of, to be honest with you, is get me to the hairdressers. Good. I need to, someone to order me to do it. And then we're just going to relax there. Good. So we're just going to take those feet a little bit wider, soften the knees. Let's walk one hand over this shoulder. So we're reaching only as far as you feel comfortable. So this could be your range and that is fine. We're going to take the hand and we're going to support wherever your point of stretch is. And then we're going to reach and we're going to lift that rib cage and just feel that gentle stretch down the side of the body. Good. We're going to come back, just roll those shoulders up to the ears and back down. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're going to walk that hand over the shoulder, gently press that elbow towards the ceiling. We're going to reach and then we're just going to gently, gently feel that nice stretch in the side of the trunk. We're going to bring it back and, um, and then we're going to take those little heel taps forwards. Take those little heel taps forwards. Just gently move those feet. And while we're doing that, we're just going to flex and point those hands. A little bit of mobility for those wrists. A little bit of mobility for those wrists. And then we're just going to bring these feet here. Take that step behind you and we're going to press the heel to the floor. So this is all about our calf stretch. So. This is the leg that's stretching, okay? Now, if you wanna make that stretch a little bit more, you can take the back foot back a little bit. Okay, you can lean against a wall, and then we're gonna lift that heel, bring it back. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Good. So, and I'm remembering this back foot, if it was on a clock face, that's right. The big toe's at 12, the heel's at six. And then we're going to lift, bring it back. Good. Okay, so I want you to imagine you're hugging a nice big beach ball. A nice big beach ball. And then you're just going to let that chin drop on top of the beach ball. We're going to bring these hands together and we're just going to gently push those hands away from centre till that beach ball starts to slip away. And then we're just going to gently bring those hands back bring that beach ball in. And then we're gonna see if we can take the hands around to the base of the spine. We're gonna see if we can place the palms at the base of the spine on that sort of top of the bottom. And we're just gonna rotate those shoulders, retract those shoulder blades, draw them down the back towards the bottom. So this is all about stretching out this part of your body, the shoulders and the chest. And then we're gonna release and shake it out. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So should we do the back of that thigh stretch? My least favourite stretch at the moment. <laughs> I'll show you standing and then I'll show you seated. So standing, we're just going to bend those knees a little bit. Now you're sticking that bottom out as if you're doing a squat. And then we're just going to take one heel in front and you can sink a little bit lower if you need to. But we've got this weight on this supporting leg. So the stretch is down here. If you prefer you can do it in the chair. So, sitting in that front half of the chair, foot and in. Okay, you can bring it out of that one, guys. We're gonna come all the way up, walk those feet out a little bit, and we'll do the same on the other side. So we're taking that foot in front, and certainly if the knees don't like supporting this stretch, seated is definitely a really good way of doing it. 
Okay, breathe out. Make sure we don't hold our breath. And then we're gonna come all the way up. Just gently walk it out, guys. Just gently walk it out. And then we're just going to see if we can take that breath in. Fill the lungs. We're gonna breathe out. And as you come down with those arms, just see if you can soften the knees and then straighten, breathe in. And then just allow those knees to soften a little bit as you breathe out. I'm gonna breathe in, finding your circle and breathe out. And then we're gonna see if we can stand nice and tall next to our support. You can soften those knees again, just take them off lock. We're gonna bend this knee, bring that knee up and either the back of the trouser leg, back or front of the trainer, we're gonna come into that front of the thigh stretch. Lift that chest, just gently push the hip of this bent knee forwards. And then we're gonna gently release and we'll just move the feet a little bit. Make sure we've got that support and we'll do the same on the other side. Good. Nice in your time. Brilliant work, guys. Looking straight ahead, chest lifted, knee pointing straight down towards the floor, and then we're gonna release, good. So, we're gonna finish with those nice breaths. So, we're gonna take that breath in, and we're gonna push that breath in. Same time every week, postman. <laughs> we're, we're relaxing. Good. Sorry, everybody. What's the point in some what's the point in some deep breath and relaxation when you've got that going on? This is not the kids. Anyway, have a breath in, have a breath out. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, I look forward to seeing you all for our classes next week. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, I think this weekend we're actually allowed to do some stuff. I'm not sure what, doesn't seem to be that much. But whatever you're allowed to do, enjoy it to the max. Mwah!